Just listen. Nothing. Nothing at all. Good morning all. Just waking up here in Mekinez. I was absolutely shattered last night. Shattered. But uh, just loading the bike back up. Just having a look at the tyres and uh, putting some pressure back in to this one that I let out on the um, on the trail when I got stuck. Um, I just want to show you this. I had a company send me this. Um, cheapest chips. I thought, yeah, all right, I'll have a look at it. It could come in handy if it's any good. Um, and I want to show you. Dead handy, actually, for for taking off on tour like this. It's tiny, weighs nothing. Um, I actually pumped up um, five of the bikes that were in the garage on one charge. Let's see what we're at. Like I say, it packs down to nothing, weighs nothing. It's um, tiny. Well, my hands are massive anyway, but yeah, it's tiny. Let's see something else. We can put it into perspective. Here you got number plate. Bro, link in description. Yeah, hey, look, so as you can see, that's. Oh wow, this is all we did yesterday, the green, all the way up to where we are now. And we've only got to go from there to there. But today I think we're going to go and stay in um, Chef Shawan again. Not sure if it'll be the same place. There's a big loop there. You know, I said at the beginning on day one of Morocco when I did the trail, I was stopping there because I wanted to save the full loop till the route back. That's there where all the flags are. So we're going to do that today. So I think I might stay in Chef Shawn and then tomorrow, just a little bit back up to uh, to the port. Let's see. I think the first petrol station is a couple of hours. Yeah, a couple of hours. How much fuel have I got to start the day? 280 kilometers. How long is it? Next stop, destination, next stop, time to next stop. Distance to next stop, 84 miles. I've got 280 kilometers, that's easy. Yeah, easy. All right, let's go. Chain lubed, tire pressures checked and uh, reinflated. So this was our stay in Mekanez last night. Um, I'm gonna sound negative now and I'm not being uh, negative. There was nothing bad about that place whatsoever, but in contrast to everything else I've had and stayed at, it was the worst one so far. There was no restaurant, uh, no offer of tea when I arrived, or even this morning when I left. Um, the guy were lovely, the room were lovely, the room were lovely and warm. I slept like a baby. You know, I didn't do anything last night, I didn't even leave my room, because I was so shattered. I feel great again this morning. So yeah, leaving Mekinez, heading to Chef Shawan. This will be the last full day in Morocco. Tomorrow will be just to head to the port where we will say our collective goodbyes. Bit hectic. Jesus, how much noise is that bus making? I'm definitely not a city boy, am I? I don't like, uh, I don't like dealing with cities at all. <laughs> Never have done. That's because uh, I'm a country boy. That was a roundabout, didn't look like one. You've kind of got to ride a bit aggressively in cities. You know, like in the country, we're all used to, yep, go on then, go on mate, after you. Yep, yep, thanks a lot, yep, yep, cheers. Have a great day. 
Where in the city, I think you're just gonna go, get out of my way, man. I'm a coming through. And that's not in my nature to be like that. I feel like apologizing if you've been rude to someone. You know, if you've pulled in front of them. All right, mate, sorry about that. Drop us a call, I'll, I'll, yeah, we'll go for a drink. Yeah, I'll sort yeah, 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 yeah. This cool guy with all his gold hanging out. Like Mr. T. <laughs> oh, Mr. T. I'm in, I'm in. It's different here. It seems very different, it seems more casual. I think it's very much a student town, from what I can gather. It does definitely seem to be a bit different. Not really, the, you know, in the traditional Moroccan sense. We'll be rejoining the green track line shortly. Yeah, so I think Chef Shawan tonight and then Port tomorrow. And then we're done. It's a bit of clouding this morning. Because we're getting closer to the continent of uh, Europe. I think I'll be getting my winter stuff back out when I um, sail over tomorrow. I've not even checked any weather. I'm sure it's not going to be very much like this though, is it? Day to day. Yeah, so tonight, again, I've not planned anything, but tonight I'm going to um, figure out exactly how I'm going to uh, make my way home. I'll let you into a little secret. I had actually planned to go and do another tour of Portugal after this one, but um, I need to get home. So I'll save that, I'll put a pin in that and I'll leave that for another time. It's all rooted and planned, all done. So there's nothing to stop us tapping into that as and when we feel like it. So yeah, I'll, I'll figure out when the ferries from Santander are and wh whenever that is, we'll dictate my route up through Spain. One of the things I love about this uh, trip, how it's been a mixture of proper in the sticks, gravel roads leading to I want to say poor villages, but you know, Berber villages and superb, fast, twisty roads. I didn't expect um, the roads to be this good. I'm always starting to get back into the cultured area now. I'm not overly thrilled about my visit to Mekanez. It was. Um, I'm glad I've done it, but I wouldn't be wanting to go back, I don't think. Market day. Look how busy it is. Oh, I can smell the meat. Ugh. Must be a busy trade day today. Selling sheep, selling donkeys. I really love, you know, how there's absolutely no sign of any alcohol. No sign of it. So like all these bars and, and restaurants, they just drink tea. That's, that's what they do. It's lovely as well, it's really delicious. I miss that actually. I've really grown accustomed to my Moroccan tea. I might even buy myself one of those little teapots that they, do, that they use. And it's like, um, you know, they don't ask you if you want tea. They say, you know, get yourself settled, I will bring you your tea. Like, as though this is just what you do. This is, this is your... Everyone does it. I don't know how half of these, like, houses would go on if it chucked it down. Because they, they're not at all built for rain. You know, like they'll, they'll build, like, a porch area and just wrap rugs. There's just rugs around it, you know, to keep the cold out. There's no bloody central heating or double glazing or sealed windows it does massively put everything into perspective for you know what we are used to and expect i think we all should have a dose of this you know i would personally love to spend a night or two in one of their houses just to see and do exactly as they do and and, and do their daily chores and just see you know how rosy we all have it i mean take me for instance like you know, I'm not by any means making a lot of money at this game, I mean. I don't mean that for a second, but essentially, this is part of my work. Work. So I'm coming out here on a motorbike, strapped some cameras on, going for a ride and talking to you. Which in turn generates money from the YouTube channel. 
like if you tried to explain that to some of these people they would be like what how is that even like how how is that possible uh, you know to think what they have to do but they're not hard done to this is the thing they're not, they're not hard done by or hard done to they are happy and you know they they're they're rich really rich in culture rich in life just money is just material crap as the berbers were saying money just comes and goes it's nothing it's never about money when i paid my bill down at mazuga um berber palace it came to um i'd already paid for the room on booking.com but when i did the trip into the desert which are 90 euros to stay in the luxury camp plus the meal i had which were delicious at berber palace first yeah the bill came to 1020 which is um 100 quid that's for the meal and the luxury camp so i gave him 1100 and he just gave me the 100 back because he didn't have any change he says oh no, I'll take it here it's fine don't worry but like, they're just not bothered fresh oranges should i go and get some Hello. How are you? Look how juicy these are. Let's get a couple. Just these. Thank you very much. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yay. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Hey, uh, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to sit? You? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah. One sec. One more. Yeah. Dinada, you're welcome. That orange, them oranges look delicious. Oh, bless him. Made his day. Ah. Oh, thank you very much. Are you sure? Thank you. Give me an extra orange. What a very, very, very nice guy. When I get up on that mountain in a bit, I'm going to stop the bike, I'm going to peel them, and I'm going to eat them. Get that in my belly. All the best. See you, my friend. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, oh, nice. Did you see the smile on her face? Waved and then made the love art sign. That, it's just amazing. Amazing, really is. It's so happy to... It's happy anyway, but happy to have you here. I tell you, I don't think I've ever felt more welcome in any place, you know. Most places you go, they're just after your money, aren't they? These are just happy to have you here. And it doesn't cost any money. Okay, it costs money to get here, but when you're here, when you start looking on booking.com and things like that, there are many more expensive hotels. But you've seen the ones I've stayed in, and these have been circa, I think one was 17 quid. We've had 20 something, 30. I've not spent more than 30 pound a night on a hotel, I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll double check, but they've been absolutely perfect. What are we all queuing up for? Bang. Yeah, they're all queuing up for the 
money. <clears throat> All the banks are... Um, I don't know what the relevance is of the day. There seems to be a lot of people queuing up at all the banks. Bless them, bless them, bless them. Amazing, amazing people. It's just, I've been riding through Morocco, this amazing country with love arts in my eyes, not only for the surroundings, but for the people. And little encounters like that fill those love arts back up. Your shell shot going home. <laughs> back to it, back to the uh, grind and misery. This is absolutely at the top of my tree now, Morocco. Hello? Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Can I have some tea? Yes. Thank you very much. Sugar no sugar. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Amazing. Have a nice glass of tea. I missed it this morning. 15 dirhams, which is one pound. No, yes, yeah, a quid, basically, a quid. Orange. Get mobbed a bit here, but we'll see, eh? <clears throat> Hello. You okay? Hello. Hello. Do you, do you speak English? English? No. Uh, SIM card? Uh, SIM card. Oh, well. Yeah? Uh, ah, just... Orange. Orange, yeah. I saw the sign there. Yeah, co connection, yeah. Or oh, I need to more, I need more mass. It's finished. <laughs> 50 dirham, yeah? Yes, 50. Five five giga gigabyte? Yeah. They say gigabyte here, like gigawatts. Oh, I think he's just topping that one up. Okay. Yes, yes, yep. Thank you. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, five quid. Done. Did it for me. Bless him. Brilliant. Back on track. Lads are in our look. Okay? Little? 
Five quid, back on track. They couldn't be any more helpful. I love how green it's got now. Blue, as soon as we arrive, look. And we'll now be going up into the mountains, round the top and down into Chef Chown the other way. And ending up back where we started on um, our first day here. <laughs> wow, that knocked me off. <laughs> They're all going for it. Busy. Crazy busy. Old Street. that one there. Yes, that one there. Need to get up there. him for a while. No space for me to get by is he? I can't see because of all the dust if I can get by him or not. It looks nice up here. Oh loads of room there. be some pictures of beer. I'm gonna find myself a nice little spot and enjoy my oranges. 
Now for some reason when I was planning this, the um, mapping software didn't want to let me complete the route for some reason. It let me get so far this way and so far the other way. But it wouldn't join it up and I don't know why. So let's see when we get there. Oh, look at this. Oh my God. You're obviously in the process of turning all this into an actual road as well. Stick it in gravel mode. Oh, see a lot. Come on, chickens. Come on. Look at that. Climbing and climbing and climbing. I wonder where we're going to get. Deep it is. Look how busy it is. Just me and you. This is stunning. Ugh, how nice is this? Oh, this is amazing. And we're just climbing. At 5,000 feet now. Pretty bloody special this is. Imagine when this is going to be a road. Hopefully not too soon, so we can get uh, a good chance to do this several times before it turns into a road. I was a kid riding a KX125 through the fields and quarries of uh, Derbyshire. I never thought, you know, fast forward a few years and I'll be running a big adventure bike through the hills of Morocco. Wow, look at it. Wow, this is, this is unbelievable. I never really run gravel mode and it's nice. The suspension's really soft. Really softened down. Whilst in tour mode, I just switched off the traction control and wheelie control, and then I've moved it from there into gravel mode. So it's still, everything's still off. Well, suspension's now boingy, boingy, boingy. Massive difference. Well, I am very glad that I saved this for the end. I spoke to a mate on the first day and he said, no, don't turn around, carry on going. I said, no, I'm going to save that for the, for the last day. 
<laughs> Almost saving the best for last. Oh, photo of that, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Park National. I'll tell you something, everything's going to need a wash when I get home, isn't it? Because the old clothes, the bags, everything is caked in sand and dust and Morocco. Hard to soak it all in. I absolutely love this. <laughs> it just goes on and on. Wow, look at that. Alright, this is where it goes weird. Get rid of that. So that goes to nowhere. That's it. This is something else, folks. Wow. Oh, I'm so pleased to have, uh, you know, tackled this by myself. As I've been saying to the uh, hotel owners and stuff that I've struck up friendships with, you know, I've never been to Morocco, so I wanted to come by myself first to get a feel for it before I um, return with others. At least then I know, don't I? Oh my God. Oh. It's bloody steep. First gear this is, 92nd, this is where you'll see when we get a bit closer, but the sat nav just wouldn't have it, so I had to draw lines to try and make it work and it looks like, it looks like I've done some, um, what's that thing you get, you know when you do a yo-yo and then you spin it over and rock in the cradle and you have to build that little cradle thing, it looks like I've been building that with lines on the sat nav. Well, oh, up ahead here. I wonder if this is, uh, you know, in the summer, is it full of people hiking and there'll definitely be trail riders on it. But, you know, now, beginning of Feb, this whole trip really has just been me on anything I've been doing. It was quite worrying yesterday when I was stuck on that very rocky bit to think that you know it's 50 mile long and not a single person's on it nor probably will be for the rest of the day or tomorrow or the day after that's when I thought ah oh, I just got to get me uh, come on get your muscles out lad this is absolutely fantastic magic I think I shall sit down here and have my oranges. <clears throat> what a place to stop, eh? What a place to stop.
ね。So this time tomorrow, we'll be back on the European continent, back in Spain. I'm so pleased I've left this till the end. Our last night down in Chefchaouen. Well, I want to thank you all very much for coming on this journey with me. It's been a special one. I know I say this at the end of most series. I'll not forget it, and I know I won't forget it. This has been one of the most special trips I've ever done. Without question. And I cannot wait to see what I've got off this. Just listen. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs>